Hello everyone, welcome to What If Issei was trained by Virgil and becomes the heir of Dark Slayer Part 1. Before we start please go support Tim Lucis Tenebris for writing that awesome fanfic, now let's begin. Prologue. At this time, in Kuo Academy Orc are preparing for school festival. Everything was going, until Dodd. There he is. This magic circle. She recognized him. It is a symbol of the Phoenix family. The hologram of a woman in her twenties appeared from the circle. It was Ravel's mother, Lady Phoenix. She decided to find out how the Ravel was doing. She was also glad to see me and ask me to protect her daughter. This caused embarrassment to the Ravel. As we ended the conversation, Ria started to leave, but stopped and decided to ask. Ria, Issei, tell me you protect me too. I replied. Yes, I will protect you. Ria, and Asia. And I also replied. I will protect her too, even at the cost of my lives. She went on to ask. And Akeno too. I kept replying. And her too. She turned around and asked a question. Rias. Tell me, who am I for you? Issei in thoughts what? I don't understand. What am I to you? Issei, I don't understand. A president is a president. Dot. After these words, the eyes of the Grimmery began to shed tears after boy's words. Rias crying Baka. She ran away from the club while crying. I want to go after her, but Asia stopped me. She said, that shocked me. Asia. Issei, you're awful why didn't you understand her feelings? After her words, I felt terrible. The rest also spoke about this. Hineko. You're the worst. Zenovia disappointed even I, who are not very good at such things, can't say that you were wrong, Ice. Everyone at the club was disappointed with me except Ravel. Issei thoughts, am I guilty? Guilty of being afraid to talk about feelings. I left the club. While walking around Kuo, I came to place where all began. Where I died from Raynor's spear. Where Rias turned me into a demon. Memories flooded me in a huge wave. Will you die for me? This makes me wonder crying why. Why should I die? I've almost died almost a few times for them and it's their gratitude. Moments later, Drake come to me. Drake worried partner, you should not think about. This witches didn't understand how you feel and what kind of hell you've been. Dot I think you, my best host ever. You fight, no matter what. You fought Riser, Kakabiel, Loki, Vali and beat him all. You helped Gremory and her peerage with their inner demons. You bring hope to people. The say thought, thanks Drake, you right I should forgot about them for time. I am sorry for what I get you in. I promise, I will help you return your reputation as Red Dragon Emperor. Drake rejoices, that's the spirit. So what your next move? I suggest to contact Azazel. Maybe he can help us. I say, you're right I contact. Without finishing his words, he began to cough up blood. This frightened the Welsh dragon. Drake realized that his partner had started a dragon's fall. Drake frightened, oh no, not this, partner contact Azazel right now. You're suffering because dragon fall. Fortunately, the Drake succeeded he talked with the Azazel through the Fafner's gem. He arrived as quickly as he could. He saw Issei suffer from the dragon's fall. He was teleported with Issei to Grigori. Luckily, in Grigori, there was Vali and his team. Also there was Slash Dog. They looked with horror at the state of the Issei divine dividing appeared on Vali's back. Albion surprised and scared Drake what's wrong with your host. Drake he's suffering because of dragon's fall. Everyone was surprised. They never heard about this disease. Albion this is the disease that the dragon suffers from. It begins when dragon is betrayed by its mates or they die. Everyone understand what this mean. Gremory and her peerage betrayed Issei. Drake, Albion, help me. I'm going to turn him into a dragon. Albion nodded, of course. Both dragons went to the depths of the Issei Issei Krigir dot at the same time, as Azazel told others how to save. He said that Issei need a mate to prevent dies dot. Without a moment's reflection, the Kuroka and La Fay volunteered. As they finished, both girls became his mates. Albion and Drake was able to turn boy to dragon. Drake said. Drake, now, when we turn him and extracted his evil pieces, he needs rest. This process will take some. My thanks Albion. Now his life is safe. Albion answered. Don't be. I don't want to see another dragon suffers from this. As the Albion finished everyone left the room where Issei was. Both girls approached the guy and whispered. The fake Kuroka whisper please come back. After this, they also leave him. Chapter 1 Recovery and Discovery During sleep caused by dragonification Issei had the same vision several times. He was standing in the middle of a field that was surrounded by fog. So strong that nothing could be seen. But still, Issei was able to see the battle of the two beings. One of them was black. It was covered with scales that resembled armor.it sanctified fiery orange. He had huge horns on his head. It had four huge wings, which also glowed orange. The second was also covered with a semblance of scaly armor, but it was blue. The head had small horns from which blue flames burst out. It gave the feeling that the head was wearing a samurai helmet. It glowed bright blue. A blue flame also burned on his elbows. They resembled a kind of blade. 
he also have four huge wing. They fought like sworn enemies. As if nothing cared except their fight. They stood opposite each other, preparing to deliver the final blow. And when they made a dash to each other and struck with their swords, there was a huge explosion. This brought me to my senses and I finally woke up. When I woke up, I felt my body become heavier. I decided to ask the drag what had happened. The say summoned the gauntlet drag you there? What happened to me? Why my body are more heavy the early? Drag welcome back partner. About your condition, I am proud say that you now half dragon, half demon. The say confused, what? Drag started to tell what happened to me and what he, Albion and the rest did to save me. The say. Thank you for saving me. Drag, as I said, you are the best host I have had. I also didn't want to suffer from this disease. Albion shared my thoughts about this. And, what do you think to do after you wake up? And, by the way, I forgot, you also awakened your aura. You're one step closer to compare to me when I was at my peak. Also, your senses has become better. The say confused aura. Drag, aura is the manifestation of one soul, every living being has one, and is considered extremely powerful if used properly. For instance, a aura based attack is a million times stronger than a magic based attack, the only problem is that most races including gods, have a small limited amount of aura. My aura is the aura of domination which gave me the power boost and transfer, while Albion's aura is the aura of supremacy granting him power to divide. You will needed some time to master it, but don't worry I help you. The say giggles and rejoices, thanks partner, something else. Greg happy, your look, I suggest a fine mirror. Issei walked over to the mirror and marveled at how his appearance had changed. Together with his usual brown eyes, they turned blue. Hair are now white. Issei shocked wow. Greg chuckles, I bet every woman would have kill each other to get you. Issei joyful, yeah, you're right partner. I was surprised that I looks like Goho from Jujutsu Kaisen. Greg chuckles yeah, now you need to learn his techniques and Goho 2.0 are ready. Then he began to laughing. Issei laughing ha 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 ha, yeah. A moment later, a Lafay entered the room. Dot on her face, you could see a blush from a new look of Issei. After a second, she become passing out. Issei left both surprised and shocked. He put her in his bed, then he changed clothes to cool uniform. Issei okay, time to find Azazel. It didn't take long, but I still found Azazel's office. He was also surprised that I had changed in appearance. Azazel giggles my, Issei looks like the woman will fly to you like moths to the fire. Issei serious Azazel I have request. Please contact slash dog team. I wanted that you and Lavinia help me to learn magic. Azazel joyful okay, anything else? Issei serious tell Orc that I don't return for some time. Please tell leaders of faction that I won't be in Kuo next. Probably three months. Azazel okay. Also, I have surprise for you. Then he took out the pawn pieces out of his pocket. Issei surprised, my evil pieces. They seem drained. What happened? Azazel, you've absorbed their energy. I have a theory that perhaps you were able to use this to gain the power of destruction. Issei surprised, while Drake began to rejoice that his partner would become stronger than the Crimson Satan. And so day after day, night after night passed. Drake helped me with my body and Aura Dot also I improved my balance breaker now on lol queen mode. Thanks to the advice of Drake, I was able to fully study and understand how my aura works. It gives a huge boost to the intellect, which helped in the study of magic. It also allows you to find out if a person is lying to me extremely convenient, if you ask me. Drake and I call this aura, the aura of the wisest. I wonder what kind of strength my aura can bring. Thanks to her, the advice of Azazel and Lavinia, I was able to learn how to use magic. Now I can use elemental and spatial. When one of the three months had passed, I decided to leave Gregory and go to become the best. I personally liked the magic of controlling darkness and shadows. I also wondered if I could create weapons that had this power. Thanks to Azazel's knowledge, we managed to create this. I named it Hand of Darkness in honor of the weapons from the last part of French Franks. During his stay at Gregory, Drake became more interested in both games and Anaim. Thanks to Tobio and Jin from Slashdog, I was able to improve swordsmanship. Once again Azazel help, has created a new battle outfit. I admit, he has style. The outfit included a black cloak with a purple underline with black vest. Black jeans, fingerless gloves that were the size of a forearm. And completed it with black shoes. Azazel serious are you sure you can handle it yourself? I understand that you unlock the aura and learn magic. Issei confident yes, I am sure. I'll be fine. Drake and I together. No one can stop us. Drake joyful and confident yes, Issei is right. No one will stop the two of us. Issei warm smiles goodbye Azazel. Thanks for this. If you need me, you know my number. After that, Issei used magic and a circle appeared under him, which he also created during his magic studying. After that, he teleported to another place. It was forest. During my walk, me and Drake was planning next step. Drake. Partner, what do you think to do next? Issei seriously I plan to find one thing. 
wait, there is some kind of sanctuary ahead. Braga seriously is similar to the work of Yakai. I say serious let's get inside. Greg and I continued on our way and came to a small temple. As I was about to enter the temple, I felt the earth shake. I say shocked what the hell. Greg worried, getting serious partner, prepare for battle. A strange creature emerged from the forest. By or it was a demon. He had a huge horn on his head. The hands glowed with a strange light, the lower paws resembled a bird's. And he had a tail like a scorpion. I rushed to that thing, drawing my sword dot I struck a few blows with HOTTHOTT hand of the darkness and Ascalon, but it did not cause much damage to the creature. Issei thought it looks like I'll have to go to the next level. Issei resolute balance breaker dot. Greg, Welsh dragon balance breaker. I rushed into battle. I dodged the punch and was able to punch him in the face. But it doesn't seem to stun him. Issei thoughts dot guess I have to go to queen form. Issei promotion. Queen. A huge light of scarlet energy illuminated everything. And as the light began to fade, my armor was transformed into queen mode. I rushed to the creature and struck a huge number of blows. The last blow stunned him. I jumped back and activated bishop's blasters. It destroyed the creature. I disabled armor. The ball of light formed and it merged with me, and there was a huge flash of light. When the light faded, I saw that I was wearing black gloves that looked like a wolf's head. And on the legs, there were black greaves that resembled claws. As soon as I went to the temple and opened the door, I saw a sword in its scabbard. The sword had a white hilt, the guard was golden. It had a relief in the form of a dragon. The scabbard itself looked like ebony. The tip was gold and had a lightning relief on it. A golden rope was also tied to them. I tried to draw the sword. As I began to pull out my sword, suddenly my eyes began to darken and faint. Chapter 2 Dark Slayer I woke up in a strange place. It was completely white. On the sides of the room were columns. Issei confused, looks around it's like I'm inside my consciousness. I'm trying to summon Dre. Issei shocked what? I can't call boosted gear. Upset ah. Man, trying to summon HOTT well. At least, I have this. So, this is who tried to draw my sword. I was surprised that the red dragon emperor was looking for this. Tell me why you were looking for Yamato. I turned around and saw a man in his thirties. He had rather pale skin, blue eyes, white hair slicked back. He was dressed in a black cloak with pale blue drawings, a dark turquoise vest, black trousers and black knee-length boots, over them dark cyan half PS. Issei confused who? Are you? Serious and emotionless Virgil, son of Dark Knight Sparta and Eva. Issei confused Sparta. Dot realizing oh. I know about Dark Knight that protected mankind. My friends from the church told me about it. His separated two realms. Claimed as traitors for demons, hero humans. So you his son. Shocked I eyed honor to meet you Virgil. Virgil serious and emotionless still you not answered my question why search for my sword. Issei determined I want to obtain power that no one make hurt again. And I begin tell Virgil story of my life. How get draged into supernatural, battle against Phoenix, holy sword arc, fight against Loki, saving Rias and defeat my other self, battle against hero faction. Virgil's pov. After this boy finished telling about his past, in my mind, I admired his struggle. Despite his death, he continued to struggle. Dodd he reminded me of my father. But still, he had to achieve the power himself. So I decided. Virgil serious, if you want power, you need to fight for it. Are you ready? Issei resolute ready. Virgil smirks let's have some fun. Virgil grabbed Yamato and Issei summoned hand of the darkness both were facing each other. In their eyes like hellfire burned their desire to defeat the other dot. Issei made a dash at Virgil, but the son of Sparta repelled the attacks by removing his sword from its scabbard. The young half-dragon made another attack, delivering countless ringing blows, and Virgil deflected them Yamato combo C. Issei jumped back and stood up. He created another copy of sword and began to cut everything that was in the way. The son of Sparta, as usual, dodged most of the attacks of the Issei, but still Virgil received a cut from the last cruciform blow. Virgil smirks him. It gets more interesting. Virgil stood up and began to draw and at the same moment sheathed his sword, and Issei felt himself being attacked from all sides. Issei fell to his knees, but still his keep standing. Issei serious, while well his body bleeding I said. I won't give up. Virgil serious well. Then. Virgil stand and stance, while blue energy was gathered around his body, and he changed his appearance his activated Sin Devil trigger. Issei 2 getting serious and activated his dragon aura and also stand in stance while holding his sword. They rushed to each other, preparing to strike a decisive blow. There was a huge shockwave from their blow. Virgil stab Issei, while Issei was able to cut little older son of Sparta. Virgil pull out Yamato out of Issei and said, Virgil serious will you continue to fight? Issei determined yes, I will have power. I need more power. I will not serve to anyone. But for young half-dragon disappointment he fell passed out of exhaustion. Well Virgil seen this, he chuckles. Virgil chuckles. Guess you are worthy of Yamato and my help. Time skip. 
Virgili sat on a chair and waited for the guy to wake up. At the same time, he and Drake had an interesting talk. Drake curious oh. How did inside of your own sword? Virgil, I don't know myself. Maybe when my parts was combined again, a piece of my soul become a part of Yamato. Curious so did he meet Albion and his host. Greg yeah, fought him during the leader summit. Also he took a part of his power, but still don't know to use. Virgil curious him. Maybe you help him awake this power. And if you hear, that means, be Ulf killed and boy have devil arm. Greg yeah, he did. Thinking of teaching. Virgil nodded. As they were have a good chat, a white haired began to wake up. They say confused Drake you here, why you haven't come earlier. Greg said and I'm sorry partner for this, only able to come when fight was over. And Virgil allowed me to come. Virgil. Indeed. I want to test you. And you pass. I'll help you to master Yamato and other devil arms. But you need to find my brother's sword. It'll help you later. To open portal with Yamato, you need to think where you want to go and make a couple of slashes to form a portal. I think you should be going. They say yeah, time to wake up, everything began to turn dark. Then next moment, he opened eyes and see Yamato, lying opposite him. He stand up, grab the blade, and sheathed. They say whisper dot I will become stronger. Chapter 3 New Power It's been a week since I got the Yamato, and I've been able to get a little bit of Virgil's Dark Slayer style, but I'm still lacking practice. In the meantime, I was already in a place where I could feel the energy of Devil Sword Dante Dot. They say resolute we are close. There is not much left. Gray serious yeah. Just a little longer. Virgil tacitly nodded. They continued to walk in the direction where the demonic energy of the sword emanated. We reached the place, but saw a huge number of demons that had gathered here. They say confused, what the? Why are there so many demons here? Oh no, they must have found the sword. Greg confused maybe. If they actually found it, then we take it. Virgil serious, I agree with Welsh Dragon, this sword is belonged to only Sparta and his family. Issei determined, alright, let's get the sword. After this conversation, Issei came out of hiding and went to meet the guards. Guard. Walk away, it doesn't concern such a lower demon. Issei did not stand now, and in the blink of an eye, with the help of a Yamato, he killed two guards at the gate. Issei irritated him. Not my concern. Oh no, this sword is mine. Issei continued on his way through the dungeon, fighting a huge number of demons along the way. Finally, he reached a place that resembled an arena. Issei thought like last time, I guess that's the reason why they brought a lot of. Issei not finishing the thought, dodged the attack of the rider, who was covered with lightning, horse itself was made of blue flame. Issei without hesitation, summoned his sword, performed a drive, then a million stabs, and at the end high time and helmbreaker. Issei almost killed the horse, but to his surprise, the horse began burn and become faster Issei slower. Issei confused him. Like Gasper's power to control time. Okay, I need to be careful. The guy continued to dodge the rider's attacks, striking back at the horse, and he finally managed to kill the horse. The knight himself remained, but managed to escape. Issei fell to his knees from exhaustion. After couple minutes, he stand up and continued way to his goal. After all, his was able to found a huge sword made of some kind magma, the guard of the sword was in the form of four claws. At the end of the handle was a huge red gem. They say so. That's Devil Sword Dante. A must say really badass. Virgil, I found it. What's next? Virgil, to awake our power, you need to stab yourself with this sword. They say confused WW what? They say was discouraged. He had to pierce himself to gain power. Power to show, that red dragon emperor. No. Hi do Issei won't bow to anyone. They, those who oppose him will kneel before him. Issei thought Sai dot alright it's time. Stab boy stab himself with the legendary devil sword dot like blood flowing like a river to the floor, demonic energy began to gather. Meanwhile, Issei had flashbacks of his life. Childhood, date with fallen, life as pawn of gremory. Issei began to hate his provision that caused his death. He don't want to be weak like the time when he can't protect Asia. After these words, there was a huge explosion of demonic energy. When the dust settled, you could see the creature that Issei had become. He awakened the power of the Dark Knight Sparta Devil Trigger, then he transformed back and passed out for some time. Time skip. It takes some hours to Issei. Then Drake spoke up. Drake so partner, what's next our move? Looks at Virgil or you have some plane. With Devil Trigger was your idea. Virgil serious the boy himself desire power. I only said that sword help him. It was his decision to go after. Greg can only nodded, cause Virgil was right, but Issei cut their conversation. Issei determined shut up both of you. I'll back at Grigori and continue training. Questions. Greg and Virgil remained silent. Then Issei teleported back to Azazel. Azazel surprised Issei. I thought you said that you need three months. Issei calm I know I said that. But in realty, it took more than one week and half. So I wanna ask, can stay here for some time? Azazel of course kid. Anything else? Issei no, thanks Azazel. 
Issei walked to the room and locked it. He went to bed, put on his headphones and started listening to music. As the last song ended, the guy fell asleep soundly. Time skip. Two months. It was a typical morning. I finished my workout with Yamato and Beof. After his fight with the Jarian, Issei trained to manipulate time. But then, in a magical circle, Azizel contacted me. Issei. Azizel, what's wrong? Azizel. Nothing special kid, they just want to talk to you. Issei, with me. And who is it? Azizel. I'm sorry, but they asked me not to tell you. Issei. Okay. Where to go? Azizel I'll send the details. Chapter 4 Talk and Promised Battle After Azizel sent the coordinates of the meeting place, Issei went there. He was surprised that it was in Kuo. Issei. Hmm. Interesting. And who wants to meet me? I hope not Ria's and her peerage. Drake, partner, I suggest you just come and find out. Virgil. I agree with Drake. If there are problems, you will have enough strength to cope with it. Issei. Thank you guys. When I came in here I saw a well-made meeting room and people sitting around a table, I recognized very well. They were Serzich's, Seraphil and Ajuka. Devil Kings. Issei surprised good to see you, Lords Lucifer and Beelzebub, Lady Leviathan. Serzich's, we are also glad to see you, Issei, but we have come on an important matter. Issei. I suppose Azizel told you what happened to me. Seraphil. Yes, when I heard you were dying, I was going to drop everything and move to Grigory, but this terrible paperwork did not let them rush to your aid. Serzich's and Ajuka nodded silently, as all this paperwork is as horrible as the worst nightmare. Issei giggles nervously and not worth it. I'm fine now. But that's the only reason why you wanted to meet. Serzich's. No, we've come to find out why you're not Ria's. Don't you love each other? Ajuka. I would also like to know what happened to the evil pieces. No one in the history of the underworld. Issei, sigh one question at a time. First of all, I had a bad situation with Ria's. At Orc, when Ravel's mother got in touch and asked me to look after her, Ria's asked me what she meant to me, and I said she was, for me, the president. She ran out of there, calling me an idiot, the others said I was terrible. I don't understand why. Serzich is irritated did you make Ria's cry? Do you at least have an idea of how bad she is? Issei, listening to this, could not bear it, and shouted, Issei irritated and screaming and how I feel, she thought. No. She didn't understand that I was scared. Sazek's confused scared. Why? Issei tries to say through the tears and pain of the memories it's because of Rainer. She was my first girlfriend, her betrayal hurt. Now I'm afraid that if I fall in love, I'll be betrayed. As Issei finished speaking, it was evident that tears were flowing from his cheeks. The guy just wanted love and got a spear in the heart and psychological trauma. Devil King, who were in shock to hear this. They feel pity for the boy. Serzich is ashamed, Issei. I didn't know. I apologize for these words. Issei, it's okay Serzich is, it's not your fault. She's dead and doesn't hurt anyone else. And as for this, I'm already beginning to overcome this fear. For now, I've decided to close my heart to people. As for your question, Lord Beelzebub. I was dying. The only way to save me is dragonification. With the help of Dragon Albion, I am now half dragon, half demon. When the transformation was over, I found out that I had absorbed the energy of the evil pieces. The answer surprised Beelzebub. He did not believe that such a thing was possible. Issei. Is that all? The conversation is over. Serzich is not yet, do you remember the rantic game against Sereerg? So, it will be tomorrow. Issei had already understood what Lucifer meant. They promised each other a fight. And Issei had no intention of refusing. Time skip. In a couple of minutes, the battle between the teams of Sereerg Bale and Rhea's Gremory will begin. The whole Gremory team was surprised at how Issei had changed. They tried with him, but he ignored them. Issei thought it's time. Sereerg, I won't lose to you. Break joyful that's the spirit partner. Dot. Virgil Sirius show him the power of Sparta. Issei thought yes. Virgil, I have a request for you. Virgil confused and what? Issei, can I bear the name of Sparta? Virgil just smirked and nodded silently. I'm skip. We snatched a few victories, but lost Kaneko. Now Seorog decided to exhibit his bishop and said that my perverted techniques on it do not work. But they don't know that I don't use it now. And that's good for me. I went out and we were transferred to the arena. As I expected, they tried to exploit my perversity. She began to undress. Issei ridiculous ha. Huh? Seriously, this doesn't work for me anymore. Summon the gauntlet let's go, balance breaker. E-D-R-A-I-G, Welsh dragon balance breaker. As armor appeared, I was flying in her direction and boosted myself. I hit her with every power I have, and that was enough to knock out her. Everyone was surprised that didn't was staring at her breast or doing usual perverted stuff. Sarerg thought ha. Huh? His surprised me that he changed. I hope he can still give a good fight. Ria's thought does that is say. He isn't him. That's just hollow version of him. It's our fault that he's become like this. 
As match continued, we won most of them, but only one left me, Ria's in Asia against Sererg and his pawn. We left outside cause she is not fighter. When we came to arena to make my confession. Issei seriously please pay attention to all those who hear this. I know you know me as Haidu Issei. But I refuse to be called Haidu, now I called Yamato, my name is Issei Sparta. I'm no longer a pawn of Ria's Gremory. All of Watcher of Game was stunned that Dark Knight Sparta was no legend, and Issei was calling him by his last name. Sarer Joyful Ha. I can't bell of that can fight with Descendant of Dark Knight. Bring it on Issei. Issei cold as you wish. Activated his DTTT Devil Trigger, everyone was shocked to see power that was able to separate two worlds. They rushed at each outer. Sererg was punching him with his fists, and Issei was able to counter every attack with Yamato Dot. Meantime. Regulus, pawn of Sererg revealed himself. He is 113 Longinus Nemian Regulus. Regulus worried Lord Sererg, use me and you'll win the battle. Sererg annoyed no. That's only if the underworld us in danger. Issei demonic have you forgot. We promised that, we fight at full strength. So don't back down and use the power of lion. Sererg forgive me, I forgot about this. Alright then. Regulus. Regulus run to Sererg and gold bean of energy. As the light subsided, Sererg was in golden lion armor. I used trick to get closer. Sererg punched, but he was surprised. He missed. I was able quick dodge. The eye accepted Beolf and began to punch Sererg. He punched, that it stunned him. Issei used dragon breaker to throw him in air. Then, while his foe in air, Issei used Lunar Phase and Starfall. Issei thought on last attack and I won. Issei began to charge his left arm with energy of light, while he used boosted gear to boost attack. Issei this fight is over. As boy punched the earth, huge explosion happened. As dust died, Sarah Erg was he was lying unconscious. Judge. Winner is Ria's Gremory. When the judge said these words, Issei fainted from this exhaustion. At the same time, everyone was surprised by his strength. Chapter 5 Promotion and Burnout After I defeated Sererg, I passed out. At this time, I spoke with Drag and Virgil. Issei, Drag, Virgil what's wrong? Drag, partner, it's okay, it's just that you passed out after your last attack. Virgil, this is to be expected, given that you used Beolf's most powerful technique in combination, with a boosted gear dot also with a devil trigger, I was surprised that the arena was not destroyed by that dot. Issei. Yes, I must have gone too far. But Sarah Erg and I promised that we would fight in full force. Greg, and so, you were able to defeat the strongest young demon. Issei, thank you guys. I think now I need to think about promotion. Greg, you didn't give up on this idea with a harem? At these words, Drag had goosebumps down his spine and unpleasant memories. Virgil only facip him about Issei's motivation to become a high class demon. Issei, no, even though this was my main goal, but after almost the second death, I decided that it was worth not being distracted by women. Now my main goal is to become the best version of myself. Stronger, smarter. I won't stop until I reach my goal. After these words, Drag and Virgil rejoiced that their partner had not departed from the goal. After that, Issei woke up. He saw that he was lying in the medical room. On the other bed lay Sererg. Sererg. Woke up. It was a wonderful fight. I didn't think I would be happy to lose. Issei, yes, the fight was great. I enjoyed it too. And I won't stop. I will become high class devil. Sererg, haha. I like your attitude Hayadu Issei. Dot, I hope you succeed. We should fight again. Next time I'll win. Issei, I will also be happy to fight. But the victory will be mine. We wanted to continue the conversation, but we noticed how Serzichas came into the room. Issei shocked, Lord Serzichas, I I. Serzichas calm, it's alright, I've come to talk. Sererg, should I leave to talk? Serzichas, no, you can stay. As for, Issei, many devils are talking about your promotion to mid-class. Issei shocked are really? I I don't have words. Sererg, good job. Carry on. You can do it. Issei shocked wait, if I promote there would be test. And I need to prepare to school test. After he remembered the school, Issei's head almost burst from everything that would happen to him in the near future. Serzich is calm, don't worry, your friend will help you with the promotion test. I think you remember her. Issei confused who are you talking about Lord Serzich's? As I asked Sazex, a rather familiar person entered the room. It's been a long time since we saw Issei-sama. Issei surprised, yes, we haven't seen each other for a long time, how are you doing, Ravel? The girl who entered the room turned out to be Ravel Phoenix. From her expression, she was very happy to see me. Issei thought, probably after the situation in the orc, she blamed herself very much. It's not her fault. But still, I'm glad to see a familiar face. Issei joyful good to see you Ravel. I suppose you'll help me with the promotion test. Ravel blushing, yes, when Lord Lucifer said you would need help with the test, I agreed to help. Issei calm, I see. Time skip. 
it's been two weeks since I recovered and returned to Earth. When I returned to Kuo Academy, all the girls blushed at the sight of me, but the first days were wary of fire. No wonder, given my past as a pervert. My head hurts from all this. Ravelly irritated come on, you have to do this essay made an evil face, essay tired I'm trying, Ravel. I'm trying to understand the language of devils. I sometimes think it's easier to learn English than devilish. At this time, Drake and Virgil look with a smirk at the suffering of the essay. An essay's mind. Drake. So, what did I come up with for the combat part of the exam? Virgil, I'm also wondering what's on your mind. Essay, Drake, remember the 15 francs. Bahamut's Ultima Blade. I think I try to repeat this technique. Very worried, I think you're playing too much. Essay irritated hey, games are cool. They can provide inspiration for tricks. Also manga, manhwa and books. Virgil, yes, you're right about that essay. From his thoughts, essay was snatched by Ravel. Sometimes it seems to me that this test a real torture. Time skip. I passed the exams at the academy, and now I'm on the exam for promotion. I finished the written part of the exam. Now I need to show what I can show in battle. My opponent was swordsman. I easily dodged his attacks. The battle was watched by Ravel, Rhea's in her peerage. Ravel nodded to me and I knew it was time to show up. Essay thought let's go. Essay shots dragons. Fear. This is one of my new attacks. I reread solo leveling and decided to do this trick dot from this cream everyone who was here felt fear and weakness in front of me, even froze in horror. When I saw that this happened to the enemy, I realized it was time to finish. I took out Yamato and built up energy around me and formed blades around me. Essay screams and points his Yamato at the enemy Ultima blade. And the blades flew at the enemy. And they cut it down. Referee. The winner is Haidu Issei. Time skip. The results came. Ravel joyful we are pleased to announce that Haidu Issei, Akeno Himejima and Kibayudo is officially recognized as a demon of the middle class. Confirmed by Serzich's Lucifer, Seraphol Leviathan, Ajuka Beelzebub and Falbium Asmodius. Everyone is happy. Ri is proud well done my beloved peerage. I think we need to celebrate this. All high. Rias, Issei, I want to talk to you, if you don't mind. Issei, alright Gremory. Issei whispered Ravel, we can talk after that. Ravel. In a whisper of course. As everyone left the club, Rias began to speak. Rias. Issei is very glad that you become a demon of the middle class. I hope that when you become a high class demon, we will be together. My dear pa. Issei annoyed no Rias. As I said during the match against Sererg, I'm not your pawn. Rias crying why? What happened to you? Please that's enough, you're hurting me. After you come back from Gregory, you behave differently. I miss your stupid perverted habits. Please, become the same you were. Please tears flowed from her necks. At the same time, Issei was looking at Rias. Anger burned within him. Issei angry oh, and I can hurt. You wanted me to say your name then. But you didn't understand dot I was scared to fall in love. I helped all of you, but no one, absolutely no one thought if I was scared. I was betrayed, several times I did not die again. My love cost me almost a second death. Rhea's Gremory, from now on, know that I will never love you in the same for your peerage. After these words, Issei left the office, leaving a weeping Rhea's alone. When he went outside, he saw Ravel waiting for him at the gate. Ravel worried, is everything okay? Issei, now yes. She will need time to think about it. Ravel worried Issei Sama, are you sure? Issei sobbing I I don't know. I J just want to. I just want peace and quiet. After these words, tears flowed from Issei's cheeks. Drake knew it wasn't easy to say those words to Gremory. Virgil was silent. Ravel hug Issei. She moved them to the house that Azazel had given them. Issei calm down, thank you very much, Ravel. After that, he went to the bedroom. After couple minutes, Ravel come to his bedroom. Ravel worried. Issei Sama, can sleep with you. Issei only smirked in his mind. Issei of course, you have every right to sleep next. Without your help, I could not pass the exams. So, it's okay if that's what you want. Then, both of them fell asleep. Chapter 6 Weekend Morning. I got up quite early and saw that Ravel was actually lying with me. Issei thought maybe we should leave the heart open, but only for her. I got dressed and left the room. I went to the forest to practice. I took out Yamato and began to collect demonic energy in my hand. I shaped it and I did it. Now Virgil may be in the outside world, but in the form of a ghost. Virgil surprised him. Good dot now it will be more convenient to train you. Ready. Issei, ready. I will not back down. Virgil nodded silently. Virgil showed the techniques, and Issei repeated. Virgil was severe, but it was clear that it was necessary. I can't be allowed to be manipulated again. After when I finished practicing Yamato's strongest move judgment cut end, I sat down and decided to talk to Virgil. Issei, Virgil, can you tell me about how you lived? Virgil. And why interest in my past? The past was a pain for Virg. 
a fire in the house, death at the hands of demons, life that has become survival, decades of service to Mundus. These memories were a nightmare for Sparta's son. Virgil grimaced at the sight of these memories, I say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt. Virgil, nothing. That was a long time ago. But still, I'll tell you about the past. And he began to talk about his life. Issei was speechless at the story of Virgil. They've been through something similar. But Virgil had it worse. Issei. Hey Virg. If something bothers you, speak up. You, like Dre, are my partner. We can help each other. I am very grateful to you for your help. And if you're worried about something, say it. Virgil from these words a little smiled. They bro fisted. Virgil became serious, let's go back to training. Issei. Yud ot. After that, I sat down and began to meditate. Inside consciousness, Virgil and I were sparring. Virgil, okay, you're getting better, but... Virgil rushed at me. Issei blocks Yamato using the hand of darkness. I'm skip. They fraught for several hours. When Issei woke up, it was already sunset. Issei felt that he was being looked at with the intention of killing. And he was right, turning around, he saw Ravel, who was very dot unhappy. Even Drake and Virgil were scared of young Phoenix. Issei thought, scared guess Azazel were right hell hath no fury like a woman. Issei. Ah ra vi vel. I I I. Before I could speak, she slapped me a few times. Issei. It hurts, but it deserves. Ravel irritated, you went where, didn't say so. At the same time, you left for a day. What's your excuse, mister? Looks at me, while well, arms crossed. Issei struggled to find the words. Issei nervous, I trained. Uh. Uh. Virgil will confirm my words. After this words Virgil appeared in spectral form. Although Virgil was a man with a constantly stone face, but even he was frightened, how terrible a woman can be in anger. Virgil nervous why yes, Issei and I trained. Ravel dissatisfied okay, but warn me or leave at least a note. Issei lowered his head okay. As my an apology, we can go on a date. Ravel blushed, but smiled at this idea. While we're Issei was nervous about that because his last date ended up him being killed and revived as devil. I'm skip. The next day, Ravel and I went to town on a date. I wore a black hoodie, a white t-shirt, black jeans and white crosses. At the same time, Ravel chose. Evocative clothes. She wore a red little dress imagine Ravel, wearing ruby rose dress, when there was dancing at Beacon. This time, I didn't let my perversity blind myself. But, all the same, I liked the time I spent with Ravel. We were walking down the street and saw a tea cafe. Ravel happily ASA, let's have some tea. Issei giggles him. Okay my phoenix. We entered the cafe sweet world, waiter. Welcome to the sweet world dot what do you want to order? Issei yes, I will have black tea and chocolate chip cookies, and you Ravel. It could be seen that it was difficult for her to choose. Ravel oh. I will be the same as you, except cookies. Chocolate cheesecake please. Waiter. Of course. The waiter left and we waited for our orders. Ravel, Issei, did you go on dates? From this question, Issei had pictures of the past. Issei. Yes, but please, let's not bring it up. We waited a minute and they brought us our food. Both of us have stars and eyes cause the look of food was delicious. We ate and drank all we ordered. I left a tip for the good service. We walked, reached the park. The same park when everything begins. Ravel, Issei, close your eyes. Issei closed his eyes, but he couldn't calm down. Inside him, a whirlwind of fear and doubt whirled. But they dispelled, felt a sensation of warmth on his cheek. When he opened his eyes, he saw Ravel, who kissed him on the cheek. Dot, as soon as she finished, on her face was warm smile. Ravel, thanks Issei, this was best day in my life. Issei, I'm glad that you happy Ravel. If you wanted to go on date just say it. Now, we should return. We have school tomorrow. We moved back home and went to bed. Chapter 7, A few weeks passed. Ravel and I became pretty close. So far, no one knows about it. And good. Life in the academy is a hassle. I'm reading Blake's poems right now. Issei thought now I understand why Virgil loved it. It's beautiful. I put the book in my backpack. I walked through the academy and saw former friends. Itsuda afraid, Issei helped hide us. Odahama scared, we peeked at the kendo club. You must understand us. Issei only looked at them with a stone face and began to go in the opposite direction. Meanwhile, the girls from the club caught up with the perverts and beat them with wooden swords. After a while, the girls at the academy rejoiced that there was no one of the three main perverts. But they were a little frightened by the change in Issei. He became closed, cold to other people, but not evil. The girls tried to talk to him. But he either listened to music, read, or walking around academy. One evening, he used the Yamato to get to the sea. The view was magnificent. But the enjoyment of the sight of water element was interrupted the feeling that somewhere nearby there is a source of evil. Issei alarmed, Drake, did you feel it? As if some kind of negativity has taken shape is nearby. Drake alarmed yes, it looks like an evil dragon is nearby. 
And I know you want to know who it is. It's a crescent moon dragon. You know his name, as well as Virgil. I say surprised Virgil D did you fight Krom Kruch? Virgil seriously, yes, I fought him. I must say, a worthy opponent. I think over the past time, he has become stronger. As Virgil finished speaking, a man appeared before the man. His hair was black and gold. He had heterochromia one eye golden, the other black. He wore clothes with gold elements. Krom. It's been a long time since we've seen Drake, how are you? Defeated Albion. Boosted gear appeared on my arm. Drake, yes, my host managed to fight him and force him to use the juggernaut drive. Krom. Ho ho. I'm impressed with Haidu Issei. Or Issei Sparta. Issei only had a smirk on his face. He understood why Kruich came to him a thirst for battle. Issei also developed a fighting excitement. Krom. Let's get started. I activated Beowulf and we started hand-to-hand -hand combat. Each of the punches we exchanged was quite powerful. Issei Drake come on. Drake, boost, 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 boost. Explosion. I strengthened myself and continued to strike the Krom Kruich. These blows have already done more damage to the evil dragon. The last blow to the nose. The blow caused bleeding. Krom Kruich rejoices excellent. Admirably. You're strong, Issei Sparta. Wipes blood from the nose. Krom created a bunch of black lightning bolts and began to shoot them at me. Thanks to Virgil's Dark Slayer style, I was able to dodge perfectly. I showed up behind him and started using the Yamato. Used Aerial Combo B, then Barrage of Judgment Cuts. The used trick down and activated Ultima Blade. Issei screaming Ultima Blade. Hundreds of blades flew towards the dragon, but he was able to destroy them with Black Lightning. But that's what Issei was waiting for. He distracted the enemy and moved over him. He equipped the Hand of Darkness and used a Helmbreaker, but in response, Krom managed to hit the guy with lightning. This wounded Issei, but he did not back down. When both were on Earth, Issei used Hell on Earth, along with boosted gear. This stunned Druich and Issei stood in a stance and began to cut the surrounding space with incredible speed. The fight was finished, he sheathed the Yamato, but fell to his knees. Both opponents were on their knees and tired. Dot. Prom Kruich rejoice it was a good fight. I hope we will fight again. In. Issei smirks. Prom told me what he was doing here. He was allied with Vali's grandfather Rizavim Livin Lucifer. They were looking for a half-breed vampire named Valerie Tseeps. She possessed the necessary Rizavim sacred gear the Holy Grail. They wanted to start a new war and free the beast of the apocalypse. I said that he had acted foolishly in allowing myself to be commanded. At first he was angry with me and fired lightning at me, but then he realized that I was right. His dragon pride could not forgive that. I moved to my room and lay asleep. The next day, I contacted Serzich's and told the others what the Krom had said. To say they're scared is an understatement. They trembled with fear of it. Vali volunteered to kill his grandfather. I volunteered to save Valerie. Asper also volunteered, but to his disappointment, he was refused. I could see how worried it was for him. I assumed she was his friend. I'm Skip. At that time, I went to Romania, or rather, to Transylvania. I should have found Valerie before the enemies. I fought my own way here. Blood was flowing like river. I found a girl whose face resembled a porcelain doll. She had red eyes and blonde hair. The body shape was good. I say, are you Valerie? I held out my hand, but she moved back first. She's afraid of me. I say, don't worry, I won't hurt you. I want to help you. Valerie. Who are you? I say, my name is Issei. I have come to save you from those who want to harm you. She hesitated, but then she gave me her hand. I dragged her out of the castle, closing her eyes so that she would not be frightened. I moved back to the underworld. Riazan took care of her Valerie and Gaspar, very good friends. Chapter 8 The dragon and the demon are back in action. It's been a week since I rescued Valerie. She began to go to the academy, and Gaspar began to lead courageously and even began to wear men's clothes. He probably doesn't want to lose her. As I was reading the manga, he came up to me. Issei, Gaspar, is something wrong? Dot. Asper, Issei, I see came asking for help. Issei, sure, what's the matter? Asper, can you train me? Issei chuckles, is it because of Valerie? At these words, smoke began to come out of Gaspar's ears. Issei, yes, I will help, but I advise you to think. Dot, it will be hell straight up. Dot, you ready? Asper nodded. I'm skip. So a week passed, I asked Azazel to use Grigory's training field. He agreed. At first, Gaspar, as I expected, cried and whined. But, he continued to fight. I'm glad that one of my old team is getting stronger. I was resting and a rather risky thought came to my mind. I say, Virgil, when you pierced yourself Yamato, you separated yourself into two parts. Is it possible to do the same trick but with me? Virgil? Yes, that's possible. But are you sure? Drag and Issei smirked, knowing what the Issei could do that others thought impossible. Issei. Finish Gaspar's training first, then we'll deal with it later. We have finished training. 
I kept thinking about Virgil's case. Drake deserves freedom. For too long, he has suffered from people. From my antics. Issei thought so god, you really messed up. I summoned the Yamato and pointed it in front of the boosted gear. Issei scared, ready Drake. Drake scared, ready. Issei. Drake, I want to tell you. Thank you. Thank you for being with me. Without you, I wouldn't be like this. I wouldn't know that myths and legends are real. I wouldn't meet many people and friends. I wouldn't have a life full of adventures. I a lowly tear ran down my cheek. Greg was happy with his say. After all, they became brothers. Previously, only strength was seen in him. But his say is special. At first, Drake's acquaintance with Issei was not very good, but he is glad that it was this boy who became his host. The silence was stopped by the sound of the grinding of steel. Yamato pierced his hand. Virgil, Issei, repeat after me. Issei was incredibly painful, but he was able to hear the words of his partner. Issei Virgil break this heavy chain. That does freeze my bones around. Dot. Meanwhile, in heaven. Angel Lord Michael, boosted gear. It's. It is no longer visible in the list of Longinus. Michael. How. How is this possible in the name of the Father? Please contact Gabriel. Tell her to know what happened to Issei and Drake. Meanwhile, in Gregory. Hafner. Things are getting better. It looks like the Red Dragon of Domination is free again on all four sides. Azazel had a smirk on his face at the news. He wanted to understand how the Drake was free again. Although he understood who had a hand in this dot. Azazel giggles well, kid. You're really doing things that others can't. Meanwhile. Issei. Issei cringed and tried to calm the pain with willpower. At the same time, in the place where he had pierced Yamato's hand, a blue light began to appear, which later died. A dragon lay near his hand. The color of his scales resembled blood. Issei exhausted Drake, now you are free. Smiled and fainted. Drake saw that Issei's hand was bleeding. He was approached by a man he did not expect to see. Drake, even you were set free. Good to see you Virgil. How does it feel that you again? Virgil, we'll talk later, we'll take care of him first took Issei in his arms, both flew to Azazel that he helped. They managed to make it in time, and Issei now needs to rest. He has lost a lot of blood so far. Drake volunteered to help him. When they finished the transfusion, Drake went to one of his caves. I'm Skip. We clatter. Issei woke up and felt a heaviness on his chest. When he opened his eyes, he saw Rava lying on top of him, and he also saw Virgil sitting on a chair reading a book. Virgil took your time. Issei smiles, nice to see you Virgil. Before he said word, he was hit by Ravel. Ravel crying you idiot. Have think about me, when pairs your arm. As she finished, she cried on my chest. Issei, I'm so sorry Ravel. I hugged her we spent more than 5 minutes in the hug. Virgil, cough. I don't want to ruin the moment, but if you forgot, you need to get better. By the way, when Drake and I brought you here, he went to one of his caves. As Virgil mentioned to Drake, a figure in armor with red scales entered the room. Issei confused Drake. Drake yes, it's me partner. I went to the cave in Welsh. To learn how to take human form. Also for new armor and weapons. I'm Skip. Couple days later. I was contacted by Serzichs. He said they wanted to talk to me. Issei. Drake, can you meet me halfway I feel they will want an explanation about you, and I think they will listen to you. Drake, of course a partner. I think they will also want to marry some daughters of noble clans to you, in order to get strong descendants. Issei pissed, if it goes like this, then they are already digging their bucking grave. I'm with you. Issei surprised, okay, Virgil. We moved to the underworld. I walked into a room where a lot of devils were sitting. Issei thought, it seems that this is the faction of the great king. Old idiots. Issei Hayadu, we are glad that you responded to our invitation to talk. I'll introduce myself, my name is Zekram Bale. I'm the oldest demon so far. Issei, nice to meet you Lord Bale. I want to know why you wanted to see me. Zekram. You see, as you know, high class demons need to preserve the purity of blood and. Issei, hearing these words, began to release an aura full of anger and hatred towards these people. He hates marriages of convenience. He is also supported by Drag and Virgil. The three of them released an aura that horrified the devil council. Issei you. No one points to the dragon, especially when it comes to his mates. This is the first and last warning. One dot you will give me the title of ultimate class demon. Two dot I married to Ravel, from House of Phoenix. If you try, arrange marriage with me, my friends, my loved one. I swear, I kill every bucking person, that part of this stupid council. Three. I'm tired of saying, I'm Issei Sparta. Hyde you died because of Rhea's and her peerage. Virgil began to speak. Virgil pissed I would repeat his words. He's a Sparta. E-D-R-A-I-G. Zekram and the King's faction. Remember this day. If you offend us. We will burn the whole underworld to dust. The three of us moved back to my house. The next day. I had regular sparring sessions with Virgil. We were improving, getting better. The three of us became brothers. 
Chapter 9 Dragon vs Phoenix. Round 2. The time, Drake and Virgil fought on a training field in the underworld. Virgil left me beof, but still I fell in love with wielding the Yamato. I was lying in my room listening to music. As I was about to fall asleep, I heard a knock on the door. Issei. Come in. Ravel came into my room. Issei. What's up, my phoenix? Ravel. Nothing happened, but I want to visit my family and tell me about us. And I want to take you with me. At these words, a chill ran down my spine. Meeting with parents is always an exciting event. Especially if you disrupted one wedding for them. Issei. And when do you want to leave? Ravel. I think tomorrow. I've already chosen a costume for you. I'm Skip. Tomorrow. I was in a suit. Ravel and I were standing in front of the Phoenix estate. Ravel. Ready. I'm a little worried. Issei exhale ready. We entered the manor and were greeted. We walked to the living room. There was a riser, Ravel's mother and another version of the riser, but only older. Probably it's either Ravel's father or her brother Ruval. Lord Phoenix, welcome back Ravel, good to see you. I see you brought Issei to us. Walked up to Issei and held out his hand glad to meet Issei Sparta, I'm Lord Phoenix. You already know Riser, Ravel, and my wife. Issei shakes an outstretched hand nice to meet you Lord Phoenix. I'm Skip. I explained the whole situation to the council and Ravel. Her family was shocked but happy. Lady Phoenix so, when is the wedding? This made Issei and Ravel's faces reddened as if they were burning. Lord Phoenix fainted a little, thinking that he might soon be a father-in-law. Riser's jaw dropped. Riser remembered the time when Issei broke into the wedding and defeated him. He understood that he would not let Ravel be offended. If Ravel gets hurt. Riser had goosebumps from realizing how dangerous dragons are in rage. Riser hey Issei. How about our little rematch? I've trained with Sererg, so the outcome will be different. Issei only smirks from this offer. Issei grins him. Okay. I don't mind a good fight. When do we start? Riser, 10 minutes will be fine. Dot. Issei smirks more than enough. I'm skip. 10 minutes later. Riser cocky ready Issei. Issei cocky ha. Ready. Riser flew into the air and began to shoot fire at me. I dodged them. Issei come on, something stronger than this smirk. Riser. You asked for it. He let a stream of flame come at me. I took out my sword and cut the stream. But the riser arrived after that, I was able to cut it, but not much. We stood opposite each other and rushed at each other. I equipped Beowulf, and he covered his hands with fire. We exchanged blows. One by one. We're both trying to defeat each other. Beowulf uses the power of light, so that's a slight advantage. But also riser became stronger. The fight is really good. His healing was a little stronger than mine. He really got stronger. We continued the scuffle. Both were bleeding. But Riser took off again using fiery wings and will try to catch me and hit me. I was able to dodge his last punch and I activated DT. I used Dragon Breaker to finishing. After that, he fell. Music stops. Issei, I pay tribute, I like the fight. But the victory is mine again. After that, I return to the estate. Ravel and Razor's retinue were waiting for me there. Issei. He fought well. Okay, Ravel. It's time for us and. I took a necklace out of my pocket, this is for you, I am very glad that you appeared in my life. Ravel Phoenix, I love you and I will always love you. From his words, tears of happiness appeared on Ravel's face. They hugged each other and when their faces became close, they merged into a kiss. From this scene, Ricer's peerage rejoiced for Ravel. After that, they moved home. Issei told Drag and Virgil about the events at Phoenix Manor. Drag ha ha ha. Well done Issei. It looks like Phoenix lost to the dragon again. Virgil smirk keep it up, you fight and don't back down. Chapter 10. I finished the fight with Virgil. I asked him several times to let me use his blade because I really like it. But I get rejected all the time. I finished training and went home. Time skip. Tomorrow. I was at the academy. After school, as usual, I was looking for a quiet place to listen to music. I laid down on the tree, put on my headphones and turned on the songs. As soon as the song ended, I decided to take a nap. As I closed my eyes and got ready for bed, I felt someone standing nearby. I opened my eyes and saw Kiba. I got up and we started talking. Issei irritated Kiba, what's the matter? Kiba. Issei, you are asked to come to the orc. Issei was angered that because of the spoiled princess, he could not be alone. Issei. Tell her that she was going to hell. I've said many times that I'm not a pawn anymore. Kiba tried to take my hand, but I used a trick. I moved behind his back and knocked him out with one blow. Issei thought, I can't be alone. Okay, I'll visit the red-haired demon. Hopefully it will be worth my time. I went to the orc. Issei angry I hope it's worth it that you circa. Before I had time to finish what I was saying, I noticed Azazel, Bali and he a team. Now I understand that Kiba was indeed telling the truth. Azazel. Issei, my boy. Nice to see you. 
I called you because the Council of Devils accepted your terms. Your initiation into the new class will be in a week. Me, Drag and Virgil also talked about the future. Drag decided that he would try to build a faction of dragons. Virgil will rebuild his house in Redgrave City. And, by the way, the father of Norse wants to visit you. Issei shocked Oaden. Well, that's really good news. You don't know why he decided. Azazel. No, I don't know. Okay, I'm back to Grigory. If you ask why Vali is here, he will tell you. Azazel disappeared through the magic circle. Vali. As Azazel said, I'm here because Kuroka and Lafay are constantly trying to get to you, but I managed to dissuade them. But now. The half-demon did not have time to finish the sentence, as Nakashu and the mage wrapped around Issei's arms like pythons. Kuroka. After your recovery, I was looking for you and wanted to be with you. And now, I'm not going to leave you. Presses harder. Bali and Baiko laughed at Issei's situation. At the same time, Arthur remained unfazed. Later, they're gone. Issei so, it looks like you are now living with me. Only please. Don't be too perverted. Especially your Kuroka. They moved back to Issei's house. They were met by Ravel. She understood that even if her future husband did not want to harem now. Because of his new dragon nature, women will be attracted to him. Ravel. Issei, what do you have to say for yourself? Made an evil face. Issei. Ravel, it's not that simple. They helped me survive. And. And. Ravel only laughed at how much she scared him. Ravel. Ha 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 ha. Calm down, I don't mind it. I realize that it was not your fault. But if the idea of a harem comes true, I'll be in charge, is that clear? Issei nodded. Ravel. Great. By the way, Kuroka and Lafay, where are you going to sleep? Kuroka and Lafay looked at me with a smirk. Girls. We're going to sleep with Issei. At these words, Ravel was not surprised. She realized that she, Kuroka and Lafay were in love with this man. Time skip. Issei and his harem were lying in the same bed. From this, the boy had unpleasant memories, but he did not let them control his actions. Issei. Okay, girls, good night to you. Ravel Kuroka Lafay. Good night Issei each kissed him on the cheek. Issei thought, I hope Drag and Virgil don't see it. I feel they will both be dissatisfied. Drag is more likely to be jealous because he doesn't have mates yet. And Virgil will kill me not only with a Yamato, but also with a look. Time skip. Next morning. Issei damn turn off the sun. Today is Saturday. I want to rest. I tried to go back to sleep, but I couldn't. I got up, washed, washed, dressed. I noticed that there was no one but Kuroka at home. Issei. I wonder where they are. I noticed a note lying on the table beside the bed. Issei, I went to the underworld on business. Riser liked the fight, but a little upset that I lost to you again. I'll probably be back tomorrow. Lafay went to Britain on the business of the Pendragon family. She said she would be home tomorrow as well. She also left you a nice gift. Love you, Ravel. Issei thought I see. So it's just her and me. Okay, maybe I'll get to know her better. Issei. Kuroka, good morning, it's time to get up. I tried to wake her up, but it didn't work. I went downstairs and began to prepare breakfast. I started cooking meat. I finished preparing my breakfast and felt a familiar sensation behind me. I was right, it was Kuroka's chest. Kuroki seductive, it smells delicious, I hope you left it for me, Naya. Issei giggles, left, sit down, otherwise it will cool down. She sat down at the table and began to eat. You could see from her face that she was delighted with the food. Kuroka joyful, very tasty, thank you very much. I thought that only Arthur knew how to cook. We finished eating and I decided to ask her questions. Issei. Kuroka, I'd like to ask you. I've been told you became a stray because you killed your master. I'd like to know why. Kuroka, sigh I had to. He wanted to create a super devil using other creatures to experiment with. Shirin and I were next in line. I killed him to protect her. She starts to sobbing. She thinks I left her. But I acted in such a way that there was no target hanging on her. I I. I saw her tears and decided to hug her. I whispered in her ear. Issei. It's okay. We will acquit you. I promise. And so it went on for several minutes. After she calmed down, she stood up. Kuroka. I'm sorry for that. You're wet now. Issei giggles, that's okay. Did you take notes or remember the places where the experiments were? I think if you show it to Serzich's, it will justify you. Kuroka and I moved to the underworld, to the place where, as she says, the experiments were carried out. We found ourselves next to the manor where the experiments were. We entered the estate and noticed that it was abandoned. We turned over, one might say, the whole house, but so far we have not found anything. Then Kuroka found a secret passage. From what I saw, horror froze on my face. Now I understand why she killed him it was a sick bastard. I saw the bodies of those who were used for experiments. I also found a notebook. Kuroka. Well done Issei, you found his notes. Issei. Now let's contact Lucifer. 
I contacted Serzich's through the magic circle. Serzich's, Issei, what's the matter? Issei. Good evening Serzich's. I contacted you about exonerating the Kuroka. I advise you come here and see everything. One more thing. Grab the packets, you may become vomit. Serzich's, okay, I'll be with Seraphil and Grafia soon. Issei. Thank you. Turn to the Kuroka okay, they'll be soon. I'm skip. The demon kings have arrived at the place where we said. When they saw the experiments that Kuroki's master was doing, their faces were full of fear, disgust, and hatred for this devil. After that, I handed him a book with notes, Serzich's said. Serzich's, in connection with the evidence provided of violent experiments on the devils, I am Serzich's Lucifer. Seraphol. And I, Seraphol Leviathan. Serzich's, we are cancelling Kuroka's status as a stray devil. After that, I saw a table made of magic. They removed oneself from there. Then Serzich's said again. Serzich's, so, Kuroka is no longer a stray devil. I'm skip. A week later. Ravel began to help me with important matters. She tries very hard. And we spend time together. Thanks to her, I can manage things better and more accurately, in other words, she began to help me, as Grafia helps Serzich's. Lafay also helps a lot. Thanks to her, I control magic more precisely. Her gift was very useful this is a guide to magical weapons and their creation. Hiroka was very happy that I helped her with her problem. She began to go out into the world and visit her sister often, of course the first time I had to protect her, but it all ended pretty well. A pleasant reminder was Rhea's disgruntled face. Virgil and I sparred as usual. My sword is pretty good. Virgil sternly, focus. I deflected his blows. I used a sting, but it leaned. He teleported into the air and used a series of judgment cuts. I also used the teleporter to deflect and created some blue lights in my hand and threw it towards Virg. He dodged and appeared behind me and did an upper slash, leaving a scar on my chest and knocking me out. Virgil sighs, so, victory is mine. Poured water on him, get up. Slapped several times. Issei woke up. Issei. Uh. Stand up your victory. Virgil nodded. Issei. Okay, then, let's have a rematch. And now I have to go to Ravel. Chapter 11. I moved over to Ravel and noticed that an elderly man in wide clothes was sitting opposite her. A spear lay beside him. I understood who it was. Issei, good to see you Lord Auden. Long time no see. One just laughed a little. Auden, ha 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 ha. Yes, you're right, dragon. I helped you when you fought Astareth. On that behalf, I had a small outburst of anger and hatred. Diodora, a sick bastard who wanted Asia. It's good that he died. No one else, at least at his hands, will suffer. Issei. So, why did you want to meet? Auden firstly. I apologize for what Loki did. I know it's in the past, but it's still my responsibility. And it was because of him that you and the Grimers almost disappeared between the worlds. So I came to apologize, also bringing gifts. Issei. Lord Auden I appreciate it. But that's in the past. As for the gifts, I'm flattered. One. I know that a pretty good swordsman, and I think my gift will not be superfluous. One created a magic circle. A sword could be seen from it, the hilt was made of white wood, the guard was silver as a pommel, and near the beginning of the blade was a green stone. Auden, young Sparta, you know the myths about blades from my mythology, don't you? They say of course, Ainsleaf, Turfing, Graham. It's a pity that they are in the hands of the hero faction. The All-Father clapped, as he was pleased with the guy's knowledge of aspects of his mythology. One. Excellent knowledge. Yes, but there's another sword. It's Kofning. The sword in which the souls of berserkers are enclosed within it, bodyguardians. They protect the owner of the blade. Issei was flattered and rejoiced, like a child who received a new toy. Issei. I thank you for this gift. I am honored at Odd I wanted to negotiate, but Odin interrupted me. Odin, I'm not done yet, kid. I want to give you not only weapons, but also Dodd. He used magic and put us on the ship. It was quite well equipped and was modern, but outwardly approached the 17th century. One. My second gift is this ship. It is hidden by magic. So people won't be able to find it. Issei could not rejoice. He could go wherever he wanted. No one can track it. Issei Lord Odin I, I don't know what to say I thank you very much for these gifts. The All Father had a smirk on his face. After this, he returned to Asgard. I'm skip a couple of days. I was just on my ship in my ship. I can't stop being happy that I have a ship. I am now sitting with Ravel in my cabin. She was helping me with test to ultimate class. I noticed that she isn't good. Issei Ravel, you okay? Ravel not really, just a little motion sickness. She covered her mouth with her hand and ran out onto the deck and began to vomit in the sea. Issei patted her on the shoulder. Issei. Take it easy, it's alright. You just have to get used to it. After this unpleasant moment, we continue to prepare for the test. When we finished, Ravel asked me. Ravel. Issei, I'd like to ask. Did you think you and I would get married? 
I could see in her eyes the doubts that I loved her. They say. What nonsense, of course I was thinking about you getting married. Did you think you wanted this to happen? Ravel thought for a moment and replied. Ravel. I think I want to happen at home. They say. On the territory of the Phoenix clan. Okay. If that's what you want, then let it be so. From these words, Ravel had a smile on her face and a little blush. She knew that he loved her and would not leave her. I hugged her and we spent a few minutes like that. After that, we moved home, and the ship was reduced to a model that I put on the shelf. When I pass the test, I will ask for territories with access to the Seer Lake. I began to cook my own food and suddenly, I felt that someone was standing behind me and I was right. It was Kuroka. She used to be funny, but now she was serious. They say. I haven't seen you serious. I suppose something important has happened. I started drinking the coffee I made. Kuroka, yes. The mating season is coming soon for Nikomats. Therefore, I warn you in advance that I may be more seductive and vulgar than usual. After these words, I spat coffee in shock. The mating season is coming soon not only for Nikomats, but also for dragons. Issei. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. Issei thought, oh oh, I feel it will be that fun. After eating, I moved to Wales. This is where Drake began to live. I understood why he decided to come back. This is his home. I was near the entrance to the cave. I saw that there was a tall figure, a figure with red hair. He wore a red outfit, I understood who it was. This is my partner. Drake. They say yo Drake dot long time no see. He turned and I saw a smirk on his face. Drake, partner. Nice to see you. We shook hands. He ran through his cave. To be honest, I turned a little green from his cave. We sat and drank a little. They say. How is the faction doing? She's getting stronger. Drake, the faction is doing well. But it is still difficult to unite dragons. But after learning about you and your doings, they agreed. And now, although we are small we are very strong faction. They say I am very happy for you bro. We continued to drink and when it would end, we both were passed out. But I woke up because I felt someone's energy. I came out of the Peshera from noticing a blue western dragon at the entrance. I noticed the drag was standing next to me. But what I didn't think to see. It's that he started cracking. Out of fear. Mighty why Drake Go is afraid of another dragon. They say. What are you doing? Drake cracks P partner, this is Tiamat. Cracks. Tiamat evil, DDRAIG you're not going away this time. They say Lady Tiamat, please stop. Let him explain himself. Tiamat. I advise you to stay away. I know that even though you are a demonic dragon, you are weak. These words made me angry. They say evil don't you dare, call me weak. Even though you are the dragon king, you will regret these words. Tiamat. Come on. We took off the air. She began to blow out her famous flame the flame of karma chaos. I was able to dodge him. I took out the hand of darkness and began to cut it. After a few strikes, she bled to death, but stumbled. I flew to her at full speed, but dodged and she sent me flying with a blow. I fell to the ground, leaving the crater. She began to recharge her flames and shots. I dodged her attack and took out a scoffing and plunged it into the ground. Green energy appeared, which began to take the form of twelve swords. I used a sting, then a combo B along with another sword. After that, I used a drive. I didn't let her come to her senses. And I used a deep sting to finish off. This knocked out Tiamat. Time skip. A couple of hours. A few hours passed, and Tiamat woke up. She told me why she was pursuing Drake. He took her treasure and lost it during the battle with Albion. He was very sorry and we offered her a deal. We will return the treasures to her, and she will join the faction. She agreed. I also asked them about the season. He laughed, and Tiamat giggled. It made them laugh that I was a little afraid of it. Greg, partner, there's nothing wrong with that. The bad thing is that you will resist it. Tiamat. I agree with him. Strange sensation it's a strange feeling that I agree with Greg. Greg offended hey. The say sigh okay, I'll keep it up. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like and share this video. And have a fantastic day bye.